Ready to head out the door because it is cool out there, mm -hmm. but meteorologist Paul Hagen says kind of where we should be. I get to be the bearer of good news today. Oh, yes, finally, sunshine and warmer temperatures return to central North Carolina. And while we're tracking another name storm in the Atlantic, it is not going to have a direct impact on our weather. This is Tropical Storm Sebastian, named yesterday as the 18th name storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. Just the ninth time on record there have been that many named storms. Those records go back to the 1880s. But the number's a little fuzzy because seven of the storms this year have lasted in less than 24 for hours. The National Hurricane Center is naming storms that they would have never named 20 or even 30 years ago. So this one is going to be another brief tropical storm. It's going to strengthen a bit as it tracks to the northwest today. It has 50 mile an hour sustained winds. It does not look like it's going to reach hurricane strength as it tracks to the northwest and then curves out into the Atlantic and it's just going to get basically absorbed by a cold front moving across the northern half of the Atlantic Ocean. So this one only has about another 36 hours or so left in its lifespan. We'll keep an eye on things. The Atlantic hurricane season continues through the end of the month, but this should be the last name storm. We had a couple showers that scooted through overnight, but those have now moved out of here. We're looking at some locally dense fog developing as skies clear out overhead. Clear skies overhead allows the fog to form right at ground level. Just over a mile of visibility in Roxborough, only a quarter mile in Siler City, but looking okay right now in the triangle. Let's check some camera perspectives. They're looking good from Johnston County in Smithfield. Temperature stands at 43 degrees. The clearing trend is underway. Some clear skies and some clouds mixed together over Carter Finley Stadium with that temperature of 42. 43 Officially in Raleigh, 44 in Durham, also 43 in Chapel Hill. Low to mid 40s all around the triangle. We're going to warm up nicely. Once the sun comes up, it will burn through any fog that does form. We'll see plenty of sunshine for most of the day. Mid to upper 40s around Cumberland County, just a couple degrees warmer with the clouds still hanging on and holding a couple degrees worth of warmth near ground level. Our dogs of the day seem content to just snuggle in and uh, wait for a walk later today when temperatures actually warm up. Such cute dogs. Boone and Deacon are our dogs of the day. Thank you to their human Jane for sharing that picture. If you'd like to do the same, just send me an email with the picture attached and we will get you scheduled. Whether it's a Christmas picture or if you just want to send in a regular picture of your pups, we're going to be looking at clearing skies quickly this morning and lots of sunshine from late morning through the afternoon with highs right around 60 degrees. Not quite back up to what's normal for this time of year, but at least close. Mid to upper 50s on the map by noon, right around 60 in the triangle this afternoon. A little cooler to the north, a little warmer to the south, but at least we're within shouting distance of what's normal for this time of year. The clear weather weather continues tonight. It'll be chilly to start the day tomorrow, but we'll see plenty of sunshine on Thursday with just a few fair weather clouds streaming through. Those are not going to drop any showers on us. There is a chance of showers on Friday, especially from the triangle northward. The clouds increase really Thursday night. There's that brief shower possible, but the best chance of rain is going to hold off until we hit the first half of the weekend. Saturday is looking like a generally wet day with a good chance of rain, especially in the afternoon and evening. But then that rain gets out of here in time for the second half of the weekend. Do your outdoor stuff on Sunday. Next Next week, another chance of rain for a busy travel day on Wednesday. We should dry up for Thanksgiving. We'll talk more about that travel forecast coming up in our next half hour. Yeah, you know, everyone's planning for that next mm -hmm. week. We'll be here before we know it. I know. Week from tomorrow, Turkey Day. Yeah, can't wait. I'm ready. Lots of eating. I keep <laughs> on the way. 554.